Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Souls of Heroes armor set for the Hunter. If you're looking for the Titan or the Warlock, I will have these videos separate. Only because if I did it in one video, it would be way too long. Not only that, but I've noticed that in my analytics, a small percentage of people that actually watch my videos are not subscribed to me. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe. It would, I would very much appreciate it. It doesn't do you anything but if you like my content this is the type of content i do usually either that or fashion in destiny 2 so if you like that type of stuff please subscribe i really do appreciate it and let's get on with the video so first and foremost guys pick up some bounties pick up the bounties from crucible vanguard uh banshee gambit once you get to the majestic set or if you just want to do it honestly this is going to be the best way to do it because you're going to be leveling up your season pass if you have already not leveled it up but you'll also be getting bright dust so you can get the ornament at the end because yes you do get these ornaments for bright dust and they look fucking amazing you guys will see in a minute uh i'm doing this right before i did this video because you know forgot about this but pick up bounties very important in my opinion because you could be doing bounties plus the armor sets as well not only that, but I would highly suggest you put some music on, put some shit, like just music in the background, any just noise. Background noise is the most important thing you can do because let me promise you this is going to get boring. It's going to get really fucking boring. So I highly suggest you put on a streamer or a YouTuber that you like or music that you really like. Like, what was it? yesterday night when i was completed the completing the gambit bounties and the gambit matches i was listening to red hot chili peppers and i was like literally almost playing drums on my desk that's how much i was vibing with it and from from me just vibing from their music what like match two became match seven i think so five matches literally went without me even thinking about it so i highly suggest you do this so that's pretty much it let's get on with the armor the first thing we're going to do is look at the blue armor set which you get the helmet from eva after that she tells you to do an adz which is basically the event once you complete it you go back to her and she gives you the whole set once you get the whole set you're going to look at all the challenges you're going to have to do don't worry it's not that crazy a lot of it you can do while doing one thing so the helmet is going to be 50 precision final blows one EAZ completion and a hundred fallen defeated. For the arms, it's gonna be five strikes completed, 10 solstice packages opened, and 100 solar orbs created in Crucible or Gambit. For the chest piece, it's gonna be 50 kills on EAZ as a solar subclass, 50 EAZ co combatants defeated, and 400 solar arc or void orbs created. For the legs, it's going to be 50 super kills, 25 opposing guardian kills, 5 public events completed, and last but not least, for the class item, it's going to be 5 adventures completed, 100 arc orbs made in strikes, and 5 crucible and slash gamb gambit matches completed. So, the way I ended up doing it was, and this is going to be in every, every video that I make for the guides, do momentum control my god guys momentum control is probably the best thing you can do right now to grind out some of these momentum control really is the best thing you can do especially when we get to the majestic set oh my god but the way i would do it is the ones where it's like create solar orbs or create final like precision final blows super kills you can all do that wherever you are so you're gonna want to do like crucible do all the crucible ones obviously but if you can do like the headshots the super kills try to complete as much as you can within the allotted time that you have so once like for me once i was done with my five matches because that's really what you're going to be wanting to complete the five matches i was already done with like a few of them and then after that i went to strikes from strikes i went to public events and adventures so what i ended up doing was for every adventure i did i did a public event so i was one one two two three three so on and so forth that way i can complete it both at the same time and to vary it up because it was getting a little bit boring 
honestly the blue armor is probably the easiest one obviously it's the blue armor it's the first one you get the hard one is going to be the majestic and i don't even say hard like really it's not hard at all it's just time consuming but it is still vastly easier than last year's last year's and the year before that was fucking horrible so for the majestic set the helmet we're going to look at 2000 elemental final blows 300 arc weapon final blows 200 combating kills the arms are 10 heroic public events completed 300 arc orbs created in playlist strikes 300 cabal defeated for the chess piece it's going to be 1000 solar orc or void orbs created 10 gambit matches 100 void grenade final blows and for the legs it's going to be 600 kills in the strike playlist 100 guardians defeated with void weapons and 100 ability kills last but not least class item 200 solar arc and void orbs created in eaz 5 edz patrol completed and 20 bosses killed so this is probably going to one be the one that a lot of people don't complete a lot of people are just probably going to get the like the purple armor set and be like i'm done i don't give a fuck and to be honest I wouldn't even blame you because honestly the fact that they have 10 gamut matches is really what killed my soul honestly if you want to get just get it over with rip that bandage off i would suggest you do that only only because the the gamut matches were fucking horrible i ended up doing all of it in one go and i hated my life a uh, gambit is just oh it was rough let me tell you guys i really wish that they did something like either complete 10 pvp matches or five gambit matches that would have been better but you know whatever honestly the way i handled this one is i went to strikes first and then crucible and then gambit last for the playlists and then after that i went to what it, edz i went to the edz and completed everything else honestly don't worry about the 20 bosses don't worry about creating orbs or anything like that you're going to be generating that as you go but i will say for the ones like 1000 solar whatever the, the orbs created the 2000 elemental final blows 300 arc weapon kills go to a whisper whisper of the worm uh not not the exotic but the whisper mission great resource guys especially on titan oh my god on titan i could literally afk of that but on my hunter specifically i was using pretty much everything just to complete all of them to be honest my first time when I went with my hunter, I immediately went to the whisper mission because I was like, I don't want to do anything else. I just kind of like shut my brain down because I just got done with the blue armor. So I went to the whisper mission and I just chilled there and just got like the easy ones out of the way. So I did like the solar arc void orbs created. I did the void grenade final blows. I did the 200 element, 2000 elemental final blows, the 300 arc weapon final blows. You can do all of that in just like the span of like maybe the 30 minutes that you have until you leave you could also go to shirochi i personally don't like going to shirochi just because i hate putting the the code for it but again it was so easy just to go to the whisper mission and know that i could i completed all of those annoying quest steps already so for me when i went to the strike playlist i just needed to get 600 kills and how what, what the other one i forget there's another one I, I don't remember obviously the eaz ones are not hard but they're just time consuming honestly this is not much of a guide more is it just like you should probably do this if it was a guide my usual guides i'd probably be a little bit more like technical about stuff but honestly a lot of this is just so simple and like you can do whatever you want you can do gambit or you can do this or you can do that it's really up to your preference if you want to kill the gambit matches at the end like i did you can do that if you just want to kill it right now and forget about it you can do that as well or if you want to do five rounds right now and then five at the end be my fucking guest it's your it's your call my guy but if i could tell you anything right now is use whisper the whisper mission to complete the annoying ones out of the way because i can promise you after you complete like the really big number ones you're gonna chill so chill strikes gonna go fast pvp gonna go fast gambit it's not gonna go fast you're gonna you're gonna feel like you're being tortured but at least you don't have to worry about the other ones not only that 
The EAZ ones honestly are not that hard. They're not that crazy. It's just 200 solar arc or void orbs. And honestly, you can do that if you're not like, honestly, if, if I'm being real with you, you can do that if you just ignore the bosses and just kill like ads that are around. Or you can go for the bosses, obviously, which award more orbs. But again, all I'm saying is do whatever you want. That's really it. So for me, the way I did it with my hunter was whisper with the whisper mission first. Then what was it? Strikes, gambit, no strikes, crucible, gambit, and then patrol. Patrol for the obvious EDZ patrols completed. And then the uh, public events. That's pretty much it. Yeah, this is pretty simple. I know I'm forgetting no, all patrols. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the, the Majestic set. Let's look at the Magnificent set, just in case you want to do it. The helmet is going to be Complete and Nightfall, the Ordeal Strike on Master Difficulty. This is not Grandmaster, it's Master Difficulty, so this should be relatively simple for some of you. The Arms, it's going to be Complete and Nightmare Hunt, which not even like the, like the really high-end one. It's just a Nightmare Hunt, which is cool, I guess. The Solstice Vest is complete Pit of Heresy. Uh, Pit of Heresy is really simple. I've done a guide on Pit of Heresy. I'll have it in, in the in the description below, but I've done a guide on it on how to do it solo flawless. I've done it on my Hunter. I may do it on my Titan and Warlock because you can do it. And it's a lot of fun. I highly suggest people do Pit of Heresy. It's a really good grind. For the legs, it's gonna be win seven matches of Trials of Osiris. This is probably gonna be the one that most people sign out of because honestly, Trials is pretty garbage. But if you could do it on console, I highly suggest you do it on console just because it's there's no cheaters. You could you get you might get DDoS, but there's no cheaters. And for the class item, it's gonna be defeat three final bosses at the Altar of Sorrows, which is gross sounding, but it's easy. As a solo player, you can just go in, see if people are doing it. If they are, join. If not, back out. That's really it. So that's pretty much it. Sorry if this guide was not as what you thought it would be. Honestly, there's not really much for me to guide. It's really simple. Honestly, the best thing I can tell you is go to the Whisper mission, kill all of the annoying ones, all of the ones that you cannot kill in the Whisper mission, like, you know, the ones that you have to be in a specific playlist or a specific enemy other than that everything's balls like dude elemental final bulls uh, blows the orbs created ability kills dude everything just go ham because i promise you once you complete the really annoying ones everything just kind of like melts away and you're just like oh, okay cool this is very doable so the next video i'm going to be doing is the hunter showcase of the the armor plus the armor from the other solstice events so like year one and year two and then this one with their ornaments as well so if you guys like these videos let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below again guys a small percentage of you who watch my videos are not subscribed and i would really appreciate it if you did subscribe and other than that i'll see you guys later